Hello everyone, this is just a quick video on, or part one of the series, which is showing uh, the NC Studio to Mac 3 conversion we've made. You can see at the top of the screen a typical NC Studio machine, where you've got VFD, drivers, power supply, etc. And you plug in your cable into this unit from your laptop for the NC Studio to run. What we've done is we've done a, a, a conversion box here. Now this conversion box here basically just plugs straight into your machine. Here we have an optional, well, we would recommend a plug and play solution with the actual laptop here. Now this will be set up for Mac 3 and will have quite a large amount of extra software for probing um, and a semi-automatic tool change, etc. An external e-stop that plugs into this control box here and then you've got your typical uh, a Ethernet cable or Ethernet cable whichever pronunciation you prefer that plugs into this now this laptop here is basically a auto switcher so it'll it'll accept uh, either type of Ethernet cable either standard or a crossover so no need to have a special Ethernet cable for this particular laptop so this again, very basic, just what you get when you start. We will be going through some other features. For example, like the control box here can have a fourth axis put in. Um, you might, we'll show some better pictures on here, but you can have, um, you can plug in your e-stop, your tool height, your probe, and you've also got a facility here for stepping direction outputs to a external driver, which you could fit into the box here which would allow you to have a fourth axis at no extra cost apart from the buying the driver etc hopefully this will be something that will be useful and helpful to you we will be breaking this down into very short little videos just to make it uh, simpler and also you can then just go in and look at the bits you want rather than having to scroll through 30 40 minute long videos thank you for your time and i hopefully the next issue will come out very shortly